So Sheikh, I heard the hadith that we should move or shake the index finger and look at it while tashahud. However, during tashahud, I look at the place of prostrations and I don't move or raise index finger because I am not used to do that. So in the last tashahud, when I recite at tahiyat, Allahumma salli wa la Muhammad, Allahumma inni jalam tu nafsi, and Allahumma inni a'udhu bi kamin azabi jahannam, could you please specifically tell me that in these four parts, is there anything wrong if I look at the place of prostrations and what's the recommended sunnah to look at in each of this part and should we move or shake finger until saying salam? Jalam. Why don't you add three more questions, Akhi? Just to make it yani half a dozen. Maybe that would make it easier. We said only one question. Anyhow, the hadith of Wa'il ibn Hujr, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet ﷺ used to point with his index finger, moving it, making dua with it. The hadith of Abdullah ibn Zubair, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, says that he used to point his index finger and not move it. So the scholars took the first hadith to be evidence that this companion saw something the other one did not see. Either way, it's a sunnah. So if a person does not raise his finger at all, he just keeps his hand like this. The prayer is totally valid and correct. If he does this and moves it throughout the prayer, according to the hadith of Wa'il ibn Hujr, may Allah be pleased with him, then he is doing the sunnah. If he looks at his index finger throughout the sitting position, he is doing the sunnah. If he doesn't, he looks at the spot of his prostration, no problem. The prayer is still valid. These things are sunnah. If you do it, you'll get more reward. If you don't do it, your prayer is valid and you're not sinful. If you skip it for any reason, and Allah knows best.